morning everyone so i just woke up as you can tell because <laughs> i haven't even fixed my hair yet um and i had some interesting dreams that i wanted to share with you guys um i don't know if the dreams are precognitive or if the dreams are just an expression of my internal um internal dialogue and inner workings but let me tell you about the dreams so the first dream was and there's two there's two in sequence there was um, one that had to do with Pulse, the nightclub, the gay nightclub that, um, where there was the attack, uh, a couple years ago. And then there was, um, the, uh, this airplane crash, which was a completely different dream altogether. So the Pulse nightclub thing wasn't so much a dream about like the club itself where, like you know there was stuff happening inside the club and the attack etc i think i actually had a dream about that before it happened and i shared that with family at the time so when it happened it, it was kind of you know shocking because even though i had had a dream i never realized that there was actually going to be an event that followed up with it i just thought it was a crazy ass dream but um in this in this dream the one that i had last night it, it was just um what they were doing is they were recreating the pulse um like entrance or front of the like nightclub and they were going to be like uh touring the cities like touring like you know whenever you go to a museum and sometimes they recreate like a certain scene or a certain thing that's what i saw so i saw the pulse um nightclub the front of it and also like the inner workings being recreated and like being taken to cities on tour it's weird i was like oh i don't know if they can do that because <laughs> if you've ever been there where this happened the front of it is kind of like you have all these signs and pictures and like memorial stuff so i don't know if that's even possible but that's that was one of the, the first part of the dream and that was it that was it was pretty simple the second one was the one that was I thought was really, really um, um, interesting because the second one, um, so sometimes when I have dreams, I will dream from my own perspective, like me, Fernie, Fernando's perspective. And then sometimes I'm dreaming from someone else's eyes and seeing through someone else's like eyes and, and typically whenever I'm seeing through someone else's eyes or I'm experiencing through someone else, I usually attribute that to not being a dream about me, but it being a psychic dream or a precognitive dream. Even if I don't know when or where, or or even if it happens and I don't even realize that it's already happened. But typically whenever I'm like in someone else's position or place and it's not me, then I attribute it to um, a psychic dream, like a precognitive dream. Again, I don't know if this is a precognitive or not, but it lines up with it, right? Um, so in the dream, I was in an airplane and I don't know if we were taking off or we were landing. Um, and it was, it was odd because the dream had two parts to it. The first part was I kept thinking of myself as like Dan and Roseanne from the show, Dan and Roseanne from the show Roseanne. And we were sitting in a, in a plane and it felt like those old planes, like from like the eighties, um, the chairs were different. Everybody was dressed like that. Um, so it was a weird, like, it was just like one of those situations. It was kind of odd. Um, and that was annoying because that to me felt like it was overlapping with the show, like, um, Roseanne's. It was kind of overlapping with the show. And I was just like, I can't even tell what's real, what isn't, because it felt like it was overlapping with the show. But yet it was also the scene that I'd never seen in the show, which is they're in an airplane. Um, and I'm looking down the, the, the walkway of the airplane inside the, 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 in, the inside of the plane looking towards the front, towards the cockpit. But then what happens is that that changes. And then I'm not, even connected to those people anymore i'm not even connected to that anymore i'm somewhere in the front so i'm somewhere in the front and i don't know like i said if the plane was either taking off or it was landing and then the process like it starts to go down and as it starts to go down it does this weird like it goes sideways and it flips this way so like the the plane doesn't just go like this and then flip this way it goes like this skids sideways or it it starts to like like kind of uh, lose control 
And as it goes, this control goes sideways and it flips over like this. Um, Cause that's the part that I remember is it flipping over on its side like that. And then everybody just like flying everywhere and whatnot. And then I remember that I, me thinking because I was so close to one of the exits that when the crash was done, I'd be able to get out. And that's, that was my thought process. Like my thought process was, oh my God, this is happening. And then I'll be able to get out. I'll be able to get out because it's so, I'm so close to the exit. But that's pretty much all I remember. Like I don't remember being conscious after the plane flipped over. Like I, I remember losing consciousness after that or just blacking out. And that's when I woke up. So, um, like, like I said, it was, it was, I don't know if it was landing or it was taking off, but it was still close to the ground. But as it was coming close, it lost control, went sideways, and then flipped like that. Um, and then I lost consciousness. And that's all I remember. And I remember that this was around an airport. So it wasn't like it, it was in a, in like a no random place. I wasn't over the ocean. It wasn't anything like this. I was near an airport. Um, and... I also remember that um, the one of the steward, one of the stewards, one of the uh, flight attendants. Um, I think the one that was towards the front, he was male. I think I remember that. So I remember that detail. Um, I think he was an Hisp a Hispanic male, but I think he was a male. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much because he had darker features. So he didn't have darker skin, but he had darker features, like a Hispanic guy. So, but that's all I remember. And then I woke up, and when I woke up. Um, I woke up with the idea that I have to remember this. Um, and typically whenever I have like a precognitive dream, I end up waking up with the feeling of I have to remember this. And then as soon as I wake up and start moving around, feeding the cats, using the bathroom, whatever, it just falls out of my head or goes away. Um, but I wanted to share my dream with you guys because I really didn't know what, what it meant. Um, and to apply meaning to it, I mean, if I wanted to apply meaning that maybe had something to do with me, um, it could mean... I mean, well, what could this mean if I were to think about it? Um, I would think that the I, the pulse night coupling that's completely different. Like that would be a completely different theme, um, and that would ha I think that would have more to do with like fears uh, over over gay people being prosecuted or persecuted, um, and and being terrorized, and there being like you know a need for visibility there there being a need for education there being a need for support in major city centers around the world like i guess that's what i would see that as if i were going to apply me to it me thinking that there needs to be some sort of presence in every city um when you when you that's one thing when you look at the airplane thing though i mean the only thing i can think of because it ties in with that roseanne and dan theme um from the show roseanne is i would think that maybe my um my humor or the way that I am like direct with people or sometimes, you know, being overly honest or being overly um, um, expressive or just being blunt. Sometimes uh, maybe I can lose control of that or that may be something that's going to be my downfall. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's the meaning, which I would hate for that to be the meaning because I really enjoy being like direct and honest with people and authentic. Um, I would hate to have to be like fake every time I talk to people or every, fake every time I'm like talking to you guys. I would hate to be that way. Um, just because it's not me and I feel like it takes too much energy to be fake. I, I think it's easier just to be authentic and just to let people see you, see you as you are and instead of trying to be something that's all, all done up, right? But that's what I would think that that would mean if I were going to apply meaning to it. But I don't know because, I, again, I felt disconnected from it personally. Um, for me, the, the, the gay uh, Pulse nightclub stuff ha held more connection for me than because I've been there. So I kind of know what, what I'm looking at there. But that held more meaning to, for me than this, this plane crash because I don't really have a, a connection in that way. So I don't know. But all right, guys. Well, I wanted to share my dream with you guys. Um, I love you all, and I will talk to you next time, okay? Bye-bye.